Today I'm going to show you how to create the popular floral typography effect, where type is combined with images of flowers to create pretty artwork. We'll begin by producing a composition of floral illustrations, then add the type and erase specific portions of the artwork to make it seem like the flowers surround the text, with some petals and stems appearing on top and others underneath. To enhance the effect I'll then show you a clever shading technique that helps to add depth with slightly more realistic drop shadows. In order to create this effect we first need some floral assets. These could be flower photos that have been isolated from their backgrounds, drawings or illustrations. I'll be using a ready-made set of vintage flower graphics by Eclectic Anthology in this tutorial. They're only $7 and there's 5 sets to choose from. I'll put links in the description to them all at Design Cuts where you can get up to 50% off. I went with pack number 3 for my artwork. So to begin open up Adobe Photoshop and create a new document. I'm using a canvas of 3000 by 3000 pixels at 300 ppi, but yours may vary if you're building a poster, album cover or whatever. Open up all your floral assets into Photoshop 2. Go to select and all to make a selection, then edit and copy. Close the image and paste it into your main canvas with edit and paste. Use the command or control key on windows and T shortcut for transform. Then scale and position the flower to start filling the background with floral graphics. To speed up the workflow of copying across all the other flower graphics, try incorporating shortcuts like Command and Tab to switch documents, Command and A to select all, Command and C to copy, Command and W to close and Command and V to paste. Rotate and scale each flower graphic to build a nice composition which fills most of the background area. While transforming an image, right clicking and choosing flip horizontal can help you better fit the shapes of the flowers. If you run out of flowers, duplicating existing images can help to fill in any remaining space. Flipping and rotating the graphics here also helps disguise any repetition. Hiding any stems that have an abrupt ending behind other flowers also helps keep things looking tidy. Do this by dragging the layer underneath another in the layer stack. Select the topmost layer and then hold shift and click the bottom flower layer. Press command and G to create a group of these elements. Select the background layer to add a custom colour. Use the eyedropper to find a suitable hue from the existing colours used in the illustrations. Fill the background with the alt and backspace shortcut. Activate the type tool and enter your word or quote. I'm using Futura Bold from the Adobe Fonts Library. Don't forget to give it a white fill so it's visible against the darker background. Drag the text to the top of the layer stack, then press Command and T to scale it to size. I've split my wording of bloom over two lines, then set the paragraph alignment to the right, but any text or quote layout can be used. Turn off the visibility of the text and background layers for a moment, then select the group of flower images. Go to Layer and Merge Visible, but hold the Alt key while clicking to make a copy on a new layer. Drag this layer to the top of the layer stack, then bring back the visibility of the other layers. Add a layer mask to this merged layer, and then select the brush tool. Set up the tip with 100% hardness. Begin painting within the mask to erase portions of the flowers to bring back the text. Make sure you're painting with black to erase, or switch to white to restore. The reason we created this additional flower layer is to make it easy to erase the parts over the text, otherwise it would be difficult outlining the letters exactly. Erase the flowers wherever they obscure the letters too much, but look out for leaves or petals that overlap without making the text too unreadable. Removing parts of some flowers but not others gives the impression that the letters are interweaved between them. To enhance the effect add a drop shadow by double clicking the layer to bring up the layer styles. Set up the distance and size to produce a soft shadow, then bring down the opacity so it's not too prominent. To create a slightly better looking drop shadow effect, and to remove the unwanted shading on the areas that have been erased, right click on the drop shadow effect and choose create layer. Select the new drop shadow layer and press command and T. Right click and choose Warp, then bend and stretch the shadow, keeping an eye on the areas that overlap the text. Adjust the shadow so it looks like those overlapping leaves and petals are lifting from the screen. To remove the unwanted shading, add a layer mask and fill it with black to erase everything, then use a white brush to bring back the shadows on just those areas within the letters. 
The final result is a pretty floral type effect where the letters and flowers are intertwined. If you enjoyed the tutorial or learnt any new tips, a like on the video would be really appreciated to help spread the word. Subscribe to my channel to see more of my content and head over to spoon.graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.